sunana muktar abdul mumin makaranta ta mu ni ne shugaba a ciki daga cikin dalibai da muke tare da su wasu iyayen su Allah ya musu rasuwa wasu muna tare da nan anan da su Allah ya musu rasuwa wasu kuma kafin Allah ya kawo su Allah ya musu rasuwa many a times they say a hungry man is an angry man so this initiative from Leila's way um, concerning the feeding of um, the Almajiri schools has been something that I've been deliberating over for a very long time and it's a process that we've taken and we started it for a very long time. I just want to bring it to the limelight for people to understand and see it from a different perspective. Uh, I know that some of these guidance as malams do not have the capacity to take care of these children. Uh, sometimes, just like the Malam rightfully mentioned, some of the children are orphans. And sometimes they're from parents that really don't care whether they go back home or they don't, or they stay anywhere. I realize that uh, we have so many children right now that we've taken under our foundation. I think from this year, we have about a thousand children across Nigeria, and we cannot keep taking as many as we can because it's not something that is um, doable. So for me, I feel sometimes having, the, having them get just food, having them get just clothes, uh, shoes, some basic things, it's something that I am open to because I realize I cannot do as much as I want to. But I am calling upon people to look into sending these Almajiri schools food, clothes, just like a proper orphanage where people go every now and then to supply them with food items and then talk to them and uh, celebrate their birthdays with them. And for me, my concept right now is I send food items every single month. I take responsibility of the guardian, that's the malam. I take responsibility of their clothing and their shoes and their health care in any way that we can. We started this, uh, I believe, for the past four years now, and I am seeing results. And even the Malams themselves from different Almajiri schools are telling me the, the impact it does when the child doesn't have to beg for food, when he does not have to go look for shoes or clothes, or he doesn't have to bring back that, they call it um, haraji, that every Thursday or Wednesday they bring it to the Malam, I think it's 20 Naira or 100 Naira or so. So now they don't need to do that because the needs for that Malam has been taken off the children. All they do is concentrate on school and equally if they have to go out to look for uh, maybe a trade, a skill, they learn how to do carpentry, they learn how to do s little things. And once in a while we get in there with the right people to do one or two motivational sessions and teach them some things. So let's look at it in a different way, in a way that could be, could actually work for these children. Let's go, alhamdulillah. And the location, neither can I know the location. Ha, how is it? Yaro, in Anna Salla, who are the elders Salla? You can see Obangiji, Ajalil Allah Sa Kamatad Al Khaidi. Good morning, Tikiba Mugaskiya Mungori Allah Sa Kamatad Al Khaidi. Then the Ayen in the Galuk at Chinda, the Faraba Machalla Fina Abunchi. Zua Ayen Zu. Abangaran Karachu the Mikiti. Gani ne yara kadai mun samu canji 190 to mun yara sosai wani ne da kana tunanin ka mun ko bai da basira sosai ne to gaskiya yanzu cikin taimakon Allah an samu fahimta sosai da ya kamata domin karatun sai na ci gaba yadda ya kamata bisa ko doshi muke mata addu'a kuma har muka dauki wani lazimi ma mu'imu almuhajiri sabida ba mu da wani abu da zamu iya mace illa addu'a domin Allah ya saka mata alkhairi